Well, folks, it is a foggy one out here. We are up on Lake Superior. Got my buddy Derek and his father-in-law out here, and uh, we are chasing some splake trout, or splake, some lake trout, brown trout, whatever bites, whether we catch whitefish, smelt, anything. Uh, anything is possible up here. Big pike, walleye, you name it. We're in Lake Superior. So we're out here and uh, we're fishing. So we got some jaw jackers set. We got the guillotine that's doing the jigs. Uh, we got a couple tip ups out here and uh, we're just kind of waiting for some fish to come through and hoping we can catch some fish today. So stay tuned. Go with a little bit bigger fat head minnow here. So you see how the line's going crooked down the hole? It's because there's like a little bit of current here. And uh, sometimes the line will be going that way. Sometimes the line will be going this way. But I mean, look at, it's literally just whoom, straight over that way. So let her get back down to where the set is at. And here we go. Here we go, guys, first fish. <clears throat> oh, it's gone. was on there. Got off. It missed it. Dang it. That's all right. That's all right. It's a bite. It's a bite. Woo! Gets your heart pumping. Well, I'm just setting this jaw jacker back up from that one we just missed. And something I always do when I get out on the ice is take some, take some slush here. Put it in your minnow bucket, cool your minnows down so they don't get shocked going from the gas station water to, you know, lake water because the gas station water might be nice, like warmer. Lake water might be colder, might shock your minnows. So just a tip to uh, put some slush in your bucket, keeps them nice and cool, slows them down, keeps them alive longer, that stuff too. Setting up the jaw jacket, a little thingy goes in here. This flippy flips the tab, just like that. We're fishing again. There we go. What do you got? A little perchy perch again? Perch? Does it feel decent? Bigger perch. A bigger perch. Well, let's check. I mean, it looked like a good mark down there. It's coming up nice and easy. It's definitely not real big, but it's bigger than the... Bigger than your last one, eh? Oh, yeah. We got a chubby perch. Oh, yeah. Decent. Well, there's those. I was going to say, they look pretty that's decent. One, two. Yeah. I wonder if that's what set the jaw jacker off earlier, just one of those guys. They're really pale up here. Wow. You going to take them home? I think so. Heck yeah. That's a filet. Why not? You bet. Take them home. My wife will eat it. You bet. It'll make a sandwich. Absolutely. Well, the action's been pretty slow. Reed's caught a couple of perch, Derek caught a smell. I'm not jigging. I have all my faith set in jaw jackers and the guillotine. So that's my three lines that are out. And uh, got a couple extra jaw jackers out as their spare lines too. But uh, it's just been slow morning. That's all, all we can say. So we're out here. We're doing it. Let's uh, stick. Let's stay after it and uh, hope hope we can catch some. All we can do, right? There we go. He's hooked up. Uh, oh, you got him. What do you got? Oh, it's, it's, is he there? No, he fell off. Yeah, no, you still got him. <laughs> you still got him. This you, is really little. I tell you, you got to be good to catch him that small. This is really little. <laughs> He's got the special hand wiggle. I tell you what, he can feel them four-inch perch. That's about what this one is. I don't even know if it's a four inch. <laughs> it's a smelt! Oh, Look at that! That's cool. Big old smelt. I'll grab them for you. Uh, Look at that. Look at them barracuda looking teeth on them, guys. If you never caught a smelt before, we just uh, showed you what it looks like. So you eat this one then, Reed? Uh, or nah? Nah, no. Nah. Would you usually just cut its head off, gut it out, fry it like normal people? Yeah, or I think a person could. Yeah. Why not? Well, should we let them go or do you want to try that with your other ones? Yeah, well, let's 
Yeah, why not? There we go. Stacking up some fish today. Cool. Oh, we got a tip up. He's just gonna hit it. Oh. On? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, oh, it's, it's not big, but it's a fish. What do we got, Reed? Come on, come on. It is not a bluegill. It's a ton of line. <laughs> this could be a pike. <laughs> Took out a pile of line, huh? Here's the leader. It's a splake. Oh, come on. Where is it? Right here. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Little splake. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to get it through here. That's what we come out for. Got it. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Great. Little guy. It's probably not big enough, but yeah. So this is the mix between a brook trout and a lake trout, right? A little yeah. splake. Ah. So they got to be 15 out here to keep. Good job, Reed. Yeah, that's a that's a tight game right there. Yeah, not quite. Huh? No. Not quite. I'll uh, cut the line really quick here, and then uh, just grab the little line cutters, cut it. Want to let them go, Reed? Yep, let them go. Toss them back in there. All righty, he's going back. Oh, Jacker, Jacker. Jacker. It's on, it's on, Go, <sighs> There we go. Just had to wait for him to turn on, I guess. Oh, it's a walleye! It's a walleye! Oh what? <laughs> What? Let's go! Oh my goodness. I'm the jaw jacker. That's the last thing I was expecting to catch up here. So it went from being pretty slow to catching a splake, catching a walleye. Sweet! We're gonna keep it. Oh well, just uh, getting her set back down after the walleye here. Pretty neat. Really, honestly, wasn't expecting a walleye, but uh, hey, we're fishing, right? Anything can happen. What? I yelled Jacker, and you fell apart. I, I did the splits and a somersault and everything. You absolutely fell apart. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> and, uh... Another thing is, is pretty much right there, you can see the difference between a, a tip up and a jaw jacker. Um, this walleye is still good to go, still alive, but that trout, it did uh, choke the hook. We cut the line, let it go. But uh, you know, the trout hit a tip up. We got to it as fast as we could and it had it in its belly. The walleye hit the jaw jacker, that hook popped right out of the top of its mouth. So that's one of the benefits of running jaw jackers, automatic hook setters is that when it sets the hook, it's usually right in the top of the mouth, unless it sets the hook and it misses the fish. But uh, I rarely ever see a jaw jacker or the guillotine with a with a gut hooked fish. So here we go, we're on the board with a walleye. Reed just caught the splake. So we're doing it. Reed's hooked up. Another perchy perch? Came after it. Came after it pretty hard, huh? What do you got? That's a good jumbo perch there. Throw him up there. Look at that guy. That's another eater. That'll make a sandwich. Nice job, Reed. You got a couple perch, a couple smelt. We got the walleye. Just need a. Well, it was a pretty challenging morning out here on Lake Superior. We uh, managed to catch a few fish. The jaw jackers were popping, but they missed more than they caught. And uh, the guillotine jigged away, never went off. Reed was jigging perch and some smelt. So he's going home with, a, I think he got like four or five perch. And I'm gonna go home with a walleye. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tougher day, but hey, we're out here, we're doing it. They say the water's dirty right now, so. Um, if you get up here, just just fish hard. We're uh, we're calling it a day. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And like always, see you next time.